Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechnicalCafe.com. Welcome to your 15th CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to pick up where we left off in the previous tutorial, CSS tutorial 14, where we started talking about how to style divs using CSS. In the previous tutorial, you'll notice that uh, we created this stuff here, and the only thing that I changed for this tutorial was the numbers, so 15 and 2. Other than that, everything else is the same. Uh, the div's just the way we left it in the previous tutorial. So, um, what we did in this previous tutorial was we learned how to change the div's border, uh, its height, and its width. And you'll notice here that we created a div uh, that has a border of a, a one pixel solid black, and we have a height of 100 pixels and a width of 300 pixels. Uh, and it just gives us this nice rectangular shape there. And in addition, in the previous tutorial, we threw some text in there and centered it using the center tags in uh, HTML, uh, which is now de depreciated, by the way, so you should probably use some CSS next time you're going to center something uh, within a div. But just for the moment being, we use some center tags. So if we come over here to our styles.css page, uh, you'll notice that we have our border, our height, and our width. But there are also other things that we can do to this div in order to change the way it appears and uh, affects the things around it even. So in this tutorial we're going to be talking about margins uh, and padding, and these are two things that we can use to space out divs uh, as well as change the amount of space inside the div uh, to make things look different um, depending on what you want to do. So let's come over here to our code and we're going to first start talking about margins. So what margins are is basically the amount of space outside of the div. So for example, if you take a look at the edge of the div here, any space from here to the edge of the CSS uh, text here is what's called a margin. So you can change the margin to make it bigger, uh, therefore moving the div down essentially because there's more space. You can make it smaller, moving it right up to here. And uh, you can change the margins also for all four sides of the div. Uh, and we'll learn about how we can do that now. So let's come over here to our, our CSS styles here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and just add a little bit of space just so we can see what we're working with. And we're going to go ahead and uh, add a margin. So what we're going to do is just say margin. And since there's four sides, we can actually access each side individually, just like with a border. Um, and we can go ahead and do that by saying margin top. And for the top side of the div, if you'll notice over here, there's a, a bit of space between this text here and the side of the div. But let's add some more space. Let's say 100 pixels of space. Uh, I'm not sure whatever that amount of space is there, but it's the default. And we'll say 100 pixels. And if we save this, come over here and refresh, you notice that our div has moved down and it puts 100 pixels of space between here uh, and the edge of the text here. And that's just basically what margins do. It just moves things around uh, and allows you more space. Um, we can also, for example, put a margin between the side of the web page here and the side of the div here on the left. So we can say margin left. And we can say, for example, 100 pixels as well. And we can save that and refresh. And notice that now we have 100 pixels of space between the side of the web page and the left side of the div, and 100 pixels of space between uh, this up here and the uh, edge of the div here. So that's basically what margins allow you to do. Um, if this text wasn't here, the 100 pixels of space would be whoop, between the uh, top of the web page and the div itself. So uh, margins basically allow you to move things around. In addition, you can use percentages. So for example, if we wanted to have 50% uh, in here for the left side of the div, we can come over here and save it. And you'll notice that it gives us 50%. Uh, so what we can do here is learn the shortcut for margins. So uh, it's just like with the border, how you can set a border left, border right, border bottom, uh, and border top, we can also set the same, same type of thing for margins. So we can say, for example, margin. And let's say we want to have the same margins throughout the divs. We can just say 100 pixels. And if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that um, there's 100 pixels of space between here. Should be 100 pixels of space between here and over here as well. So, uh, and it's also going to add 100 pixels of space on this side as well, but uh, since it's so far away, we can't really see that. Um, so what we can do to actually to demonstrate that is come over here outside of the div and just say testing. And notice that this is actually 100 pixels um, below the div as well. And if we had some content on the right, it would also move around too. Um, so this is basically how you can change the amount of space that's around the sides of the divs. And depending on what you want to do, um, this can be quite useful. So for example, if you don't want to have a picture too close to another picture, uh, or if you're making a website that has things being read out of a database and you don't want it to be too close or too far away, you can adjust the amount of space using margins. So let's come uh, back over here, save this, and get rid of that testing, and we'll learn what padding is. So let's get rid of the margin, actually, just to start where we were before. And you'll notice our divs back to where we started. So what padding allows you to do uh, is basically change the amount of space from whatever's inside the div to whatever uh, to the edge of the div here. So for example, this text right here doesn't have that much padding between it and the, the side of the div itself. And so you can basically think of padding as a margin on the inside of the div, I suppose. 
So let's come over here to our uh, styles.css. And just like with anything else, you can do padding, top, and let's give it a space of 20 pixels. And if we save this, come over here to Chrome and refresh, and notice that uh, we have now have 20 pixels of padding between the text and the top of the div. And you'll also notice that it bumps the size of the div up a little bit, uh, just because we added some extra padding, and uh, that'll affect the size of the div. So just something to keep in mind. So if we come over here, we can actually uh, do a short code, just like before. We can say padding, and let's say uh, 50 pixels. Save this, come over here, and refresh. And you'll notice our div got bigger by 50 pixels uh, on the top, as well as possibly on the bottom. I'm not too sure if that uh, affected anything. So we'll say top, 50 pixels. Yeah, you'll notice that it did, it did get bigger on the bottom because we added 50 pixels. Um, and that is something to look out for as well, just because when you're creating divs, you don't want to make sure you want to make sure it doesn't get uh, bigger than what you're expecting it to be. So you might have to adjust the size accordingly. Um, but that's basically what padding uh, padding is, just basically a margin on the inside of the div. And again, this can be useful, for example, if you have things being loaded from a database or if you're loading images or uh, if you have a text box and you want it to be a little bit bigger, you can add some padding uh, or adjust the height and width of it as well and uh, do things like this. There's one other thing I want to show you, however, that you can do with margins, um, and that is actually spacing a div uh, out and centering it in the middle of a web page. So uh, let's just refresh here, and notice that we have our div back to where we started. So let's say, for example, we want to take this div and center it. Uh, we don't have to use a center code or anything like that in CSS. We can just use a margin and uh, basically add space, equal space to the both sides of the div and put it in the center. And what, the way we can do that is by saying margin 0px for 0 pixels auto. And what this will do is it'll space the div out uh, and put it in the center of the page. So let's save this, come over here to Chrome and refresh, and you notice that our div is now centered uh, within our web page. And this is pretty useful uh, just in case you don't want to have to go out and center the div uh, using numbers and pixels and everything like that, or percentages even. You can just use margin 0px auto and uh, it'll center the div even if you happen to, for example, change the size of the browser window uh, or anything like that. So that's just something you can do. It'll take all the text that's in the div uh, and move that as well. That's not going to be affected because uh, that's already centered within the div itself. And uh, something to keep in mind when you're styling divs, if you have divs that are in other divs or container divs, for example, um, just it's a fun thing to uh, play around and just make sure that you know things working the way you want them to, uh, especially if you have other divs. So for example, if you put a margin at the top and there's another div at the top, it's going to move it down and uh, just something to play around with if you have some time. But this is basically how to go about using margins and paddings with divs. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. You can also head over to technicalcafe.com and use the contact page to contact me. It'll go to my email. And you can also tweet me at twitter.com slash jamiemcg or twitter.com slash technicalcafe and let me know that you contacted me or even ask a question if you'd like. So thank you for watching and have a great day.